There is no other watchmaker in the world who makes a watch that looks like Daniel's. His sense of proportion was astonishing. The idea behind the Millennium series was to celebrate George's achievement of having the coaxial escapement industrialised. The Millennium here is the very last piece that was made at the end of the project and this particular piece is different because this one has my name on the dial and co-signed with Daniel's Millennium and Smith. It's the only watch actually in the world that has both our names on the dial. I asked George if I could make a watch for myself, if I could have a Millennium and surprisingly he said yes and I wore it regularly. It was my personal watch. I wore it Probably not, not when I was gardening, but certainly when I was uh, any social occasions and things like that. In 2001, I set up my own business and I started making watches under my own name. And this was, you know, sitting there and um, it was a potential source of income to help leapfrog the business into the next stage. I sold it privately. And so this is the first time that the watch has ever appeared on the secondary market. And then this piece, the anniversary again, you know, um, 10 years later, I was in a very, very different position. And here was George knocking at my door, asking me to work with him. The idea was to create a series of pieces uh, that marked 35 years since his invention of the Daniels coaxial escapement. A remarkable watch in as much as it's the very first piece, the very first number one, Daniel's anniversary and an interesting point is these watches take so long to make that I started the series in 2010 and here we are in 2023 and we're still completing this series of watches. I had this idea of creating a single wheel where you have a lower wheel with teeth mounted machined onto the surface of the of the single wheel and it meant that we could machine the single wheel in one operation so we could guarantee 100% concentricity between the upper and lower teeth and the correct angular orientation. And that was a huge game changer in the manufacture of the coaxial escapement. So we were already fitting this into my Series 2 watches, but uh, it came to the crunch point when I had to ask George if we could fit that escapement into this watch. I was concerned because the coaxial was George's baby. He just turned around and said, fine, put it in. For me, it's a huge momentous moment to A, be able to design and then make a watch for him, but also to house my idea for the coaxial escapement in there. So for me, very important watch.